Welcome back to my channel, Motherfuckers. Hey, so the world's most luxurious hotel in Dubai, of course, Atlantis the Royal opened its doors with a one hour flawless performance from one of the greatest vocalists of all time, megastar Beyonce Knowles Carter. This has been Beyonce's first stage performance in five years, and she didn't perform any new songs. She performed all of the oldies but goodies. And at the start of their duet, Beyonce said, where are all my brown skinned girls? Actually, let me say it in my of Beyonce voice. <clears throat> Where are all my brown skin girls? Give it up for my baby, my brown skin girl, Miss Blue Ivy Carter. <laughs> Girl by While Blue Ivy was performing, she just hit, 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 hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it out of nowhere, was hitting Beyonce's choreography full force. And Mother was like, calm down, baby. That's that's not what we doing on this one, okay? You know K's always gotta try it. <laughs> but Blue Ivy is her mother's child, and we see you, boo. We see you. So concert goers were prohibited from using cameras or phones to record Beyonce's performance. However, there are tons of videos. I mean, I was stuck just watching little clips and videos and photos. So thank y'all that broke the rules. Beyonce's background dancers AIDS. And if you don't know, the group is called the Mayas. And they're a group of about 36 women, 36 Lebanese women who won America's Got Talent. Beyonce and her team did a really good job picking this one. Those women are incredibly talented at dancing and it just makes sense with the performance in Dubai, they're Arabic, it just makes sense for them to be chosen. There is no doubt that 20 years later, Beyonce is still one of the top performing artists of our generation. Like she's literally a living legend. Boy, boy. Was she just practicing her runs with an Arabic twist as an intro? Like, sis was like, boy. No, that wasn't it. Boy, boy. Like, oh, stop. <laughs> And I don't consider myself beehive or really a stan of anyone, but, but Beyonce's work ethic, her vocal ability, her artistry is really impeccable. And she, she deserved that 35 million that she was paid. Now people were saying that's a waste of money. That was too much money. Beyonce's performances is well, I'm sorry. It's priceless. There's really no amount. <laughs> There's no amount. Like I'm sorry. Beyonce is the definition of yesterday's price was not today's price. And honestly, the older she gets, the more she charges. And that's what I'm talking about. Dubai is a wealthy country and they decided that they wanted Beyonce to come perform. And I feel like we need to stand by black artists and stop trying to say that black artists who work their ass off, living legends especially, are not worth it. Because if it was a white artist, if it was a Latino artist, you know, people would support them in all the millions that they were paid. Why is it because Beyonce, now it was too much and it's a waste of money? No. Listen, Beyonce earned that 35 million, okay? She ended that performance like rent was past due and she need her money now, okay? She had to dip to get them hips in that little, you know, little situation over there. And she ended the performance not only with a water performance, but with a firework performance that could be heard and seen throughout Dubai. Check this out. We be
once again, thank you to everyone who recorded even though they were not supposed to. You really did your big one for those of us at home, okay? We needed that. And this was an invite only event. So of course, Chloe and Halle Bailey got an invite and it was nice to see Letitia right there as well. But you guys, let me know your thoughts on Beyonce's first time performing in five years at the grand opening in Dubai. If you are Beehive, go ahead and drop some bumblebees down in the comment section. I can't wait to read your comments and hear what you guys think. Make sure you are subscribed and like the video if you like the video and I'll see you at the next one. Okay.